شر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى هذا كتاب الله أعذب من بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to the fourth part of our series which inshallah covers the, uh, the, the text, the 40 hadith pertaining to the virtues and the rulings of the Quran In this reminder we'll be looking at the hadith of Abu Huraira radiyallahu an where he reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said لا حسد إلا فثنتين that there should be no envy except for uh, there should be no envying of others except for two people. Rajulun allamahu Allah al Quran. A man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taught him the Quran. Fahua yatluhu ana al layli wa ana al nahar. And so he is someone who uh, recites it on a daily basis in the mornings and in the evenings. Fasemiahu jarun lahu. And so as a result of that, one of his neighbors hears him reciting the Quran because he always recites the Quran. Faqal, and so this man he says, Laytani, Ya Laytani, if only I uh, uh, was given uh, that which that man was given, and so I did what he did as well. Meaning, so I would, so if only I could be like him, so I can recite the Quran like he recites the Quran. وَرَجْلٌ أَتَاهُ اللَّهُ مَالًا فَهُوَ يُهْلِكُهُ فِي الْحَقِّ And another man, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given much wealth and he spends it in righteous, for righteous causes. And so he says, فَقَالَ رَجْلٌ And so a man, upon seeing this, he says, if only I was given what he was given, so I could do what he does as well. And this authentic hadith reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. What can we learn from this hadith, very importantly? Firstly, the phrase, لَا حَسَدَ إِلَّا فِثْنَتَيْنِ There should be no envy except for two people. Now generally, what is envy? Envy is when a person um, wishes to have what somebody else has, but at the same time wishes for that blessing to be removed from that person, which is clearly haram and clearly prohibited. But the envy that the Prophet is speaking about here is a specific type of, maybe you can say, uh, desiring of what somebody else has. And this is what is known as ghibta, which is different to hasad, because hasad means you wish that, 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 that blessing is removed from that person. Whereas ghibta is wishing what another person has, but you still want that person to retain and to have that blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there should be no real ghibta except for two people. And this teaches us something very important, that in life we shouldn't uh, aspire to have what other people have if it's not going to be of much benefit. And that's why the scholar said, at the very least, it's mubah and maybe makuru to, to wish for uh, the dunyawi things that other people have. But there, if there is anything that you wish to have what somebody else has, then let it be the Qur'an. Let it be the Qur'an. So reflect upon yourselves and ask yourselves, when you see other people and you desire to have the things that they have, what are those things that you, do, you, that you desire to have? For some people, it might be the house, the family, the beautiful wife and the beautiful children. But no, really, we should aspire to desire to be from the people of the Qur'an. We should have this yearning to have the Qur'an in our hearts, just like we see amongst the people of the Qur'an. And if we don't have that yearning, and if we don't have that feeling and that desire, that hirs and that eagerness to be from uh, the people of the Qur'an, then that really says something about our state. So let us be amongst those. Who, who, who yearn and, to, and that have that ghibta, that strong desire and that eagerness to be from the people of the Qur'an. And that will transform your life, believe me. If you have that eagerness and that eagerness, it pushes you to learn the Qur'an and to be from the people of the Qur'an, inshallah, that will only bring khair into your lives. It will only bring good into your lives, inshallah ta'ala. And you can also see here how the Prophet sallallahu has combined between two types of uh, virtuous deeds those that pertain to oneself and again those that pertain to other people a person who learns the quran he benefits himself and a person who spends money in the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefits other people so just like the first hadith we looked at in this series we should be a people who aspire to benefit themselves and benefit others as well inshallah ta'ala in the next reminder we will be looking at the hadith which speaks about how the people of the Quran and those who are good in recitation and memorize the Quran they are more entitled to lead the people in prayer due to the status that they have 
So inshallah, we hope to see you in the next episode and in the next reminder. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى نور على مر الزمان تأتي